Hello. Uh, so I decided to figure out how to make my own text and credit uh, logos uh, using Filmora and to be used in Filmora. Um, so again, Filmora has plenty of pretty decent uh, text and credits here. Um, very basic, but pretty nice too. The elements as well, they have the same thing. The only problem is that with the elements, you can't edit what's written on them. So it's more like a static image. Um, and the credits um, or the text, some of them kind of have uh, a little bit of uh, artistic touch to it, not just words. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to take an image like this, which basically just looks like a little logo, and figure out how to kind of animate it so that it looks like uh, one of these text and credits. Um, so I basically... I'm going to show you how to do that today and by doing it in a nutshell is creating three pieces out of um, your image. You can create more pieces if you have a more complex logo. Um, for example, here's like another logo too. It should work on just about anything uh, as long as you have the time and patience to go through it um, because you do have to cut up the images. So basically uh, you're going to want to cut up the images to create uh, different layers and then each layer is going to be uh, animated so for example um, on this one here here's another layer so uh, this will be one piece that gets animated here's another layer um, that's going to be animated and then the text will be the last piece that gets animated so uh, let's jump into Filmora and I'll show you uh, how I figured it out um, on how to create my own text and credits uh, again, um, if you don't want to do that, you can always go to the st effects store. They always have some pretty decent effects. They seem to be updating them quite re frequently. Every time I go there, they always have some more stuff. But if there's a special custom one you want, um, then this is probably the best video for you. Because uh, even if you try to go to Fiverr, um, I haven't been able to find anything out there or too much for Filmora. Okay, so here is the image that we're going to animate into a nice little title sequence. Um, and the way I'm going to show you is it's going to be by breaking it up into three parts. The three parts are going to be the text in the front, uh, the background of the text, which in this case is that uh, yellowish circle. And then the third part will be the leaves in the background. So each part will be animated separately and all put together using Filmora. Um, so the first thing we need to do is, what I like to do is just select everything, do a copy, and then make a new um, document or a new file, uh, image because all the images have to be the same size. This way all of the uh, items line up properly and it's just a lot easier if they're all the same size. This way when you import them, everything just kind of lines up and if you don't do that, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new document, another new document. I like to keep everything the same, so delete the background. Um, and for the first item, I'm going to select the text, which is going to be, again, one of the layers. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Paste that there. and delete actually hmm. yeah, it's leaving something behind All right. All right. so that's going to be uh, one of the images and the other image is going to be um, the circle itself and what you can actually do, oops, what you can actually do is cut this out to leave the um, middle empty, which actually is what you want to do again because it's going to be a third part. If you leave it, you can, but it's going to look a little weird in the animation. But what we're going to do is go ahead and just cut the whole thing out, paste it over here, and then clean it up, which I already have done, which takes a long time, but there we go. So I'm going to use this one instead. Same circle, same size, same canvas, everything. So 
here's all the three parts that are broken out. You have your full circle, which is going to be your background. That's going to be the first image that's going to appear. So uh, you can call that like layer one. This is going to be the second, um, actually this will be the second uh, image that comes in. So you have the, the main background. This will appear. Uh, again, you can have it come out whichever way you want. Um, but I recommend naming it in the order that it's going to be appearing. So this will be my layer two. And then this is going to be uh, the layer three. So I'm going to go ahead and save each of those files and then import them into the media section of Filmora. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all those, bring them over here. Okay. So here is the, um, the background part. This is the first part. So I'm going to go ahead, select it down here. And the way you do the animations is basically through transitions. You can add uh, layers, uh, not uh, overlays or filters, but typically that's not going to get the um, result that you most likely want. Um, I always recommend, I always prefer something that kind of starts in the middle like this. See how that's kind of starting in the middle or say the pinwheel um, or something like that. Uh, this way it just kind of focuses on that center part. That's not too bad. Um, again, you can choose any one you want depending on your um, actual image itself. That's just kind of like a fade in. I'll use that. All right, this is four seconds long. It's a little long. So I'm going to go ahead and chop it right around three seconds here. Get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and export it. And call this um, and call this layer one. Okay. And then I'm going to bring that animation now in. So here's my static image, and now here's the same thing that's animated. Doesn't look like much yet, but again, that's just the first step. All right, so I'm going to, again, my layer one is going to be the first thing that pops up, so it's going to be the first thing there. Next will be the um, the leaves, which will be the second layer, or second stage of the animation. And I'm going to go select it, go to transitions, and select a transition I prefer. All right, so let's go ahead and play this. Layer one, layer two. Okay, as you can see, that didn't seem to look too right there, right? If I go back, see that right there? Not too good, right? All right, so how do we fix that? We go back to the static image drop it down here into the second layer and we're going to basically green screen it. So as you can see now, if I do this, oh, actually I don't have to green screen, that's right, because it's a PNG and if it's and it's transparent. If it's not transparent, if you somehow left that background in there and you have a black background or a white background, uh, you can green screen it by right clicking on it, going to green screen, turning it on and then selecting the black to be green screen and then that basically makes it transparent. Okay. So as you can see now, it looks a lot better there. Circles there, comes into place. I'm going to go ahead and shorten this a lot more so this way it just looks a lot quicker. All right, so my animation comes in that pops up. That looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. Um, at this stage, you do have to export this, so I'm going to go ahead and um, export this out. Um, so we'll call this um, blank animation. Probably spelled that. No, blank animation or logo. So we'll go ahead, export that out. Okay. Um, 
Gonna bring that over into Filmora. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and clear out my board here. Now it's gonna be time to animate the text. So again, I'm gonna go over to Transitions and find something that kind of works. Let's try this one. Nope. You don't want something that, that moves the item really. You want something more that kind of shows it in place. Um, kind of like yeah, maybe the split. See where the, the text is staying there. It's not flying in. Uh, I just prefer that. You can have, you know, any transition will work because uh, the image will show up where it's supposed to be. This animation, oh. Oosh, I'm having a hard time finding one. Apologize. All right, dissolve maybe. All right. I'll just have it fade in. All right. So I'm just going to have it fade in. Go ahead and export this video. Again, you have to export it because um, it has become another layer of Filmora, um, another film layer. So I'm going to go ahead and just call this uh, logo minus and blue. Should uh, all of these should be pretty quick. They're only about a second each. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then I'm going to. Go ahead and import the video now. So here's my blank animation for the logo. And again, of course, what's nice is that you can keep reusing these. Oh, that's a little weird. How come? Okay, just goes black right there. Go ahead and just cut that. All right, so obviously we have to make this a little bit longer. So once you get the animation to stop, we go ahead and just cut that, copy and paste it, make it a little bit longer here. So this way now there's room for the animation to happen, unless you want it all to happen at once, which I, I don't prefer, but you don't um, have to. All right, so I'm going to take my uh, last layer, which is the text layer. I'm going to bring it down here. Now, because this is an animation, um, these animations do not have clear background. So as you can see, it's blocking everything else out as soon as it comes into uh, the timeline. So this one, you do have to green screen no matter what. So right click, green screen, and make, make sure the current color is on black. OK. And now, as you can see there, it appears. Uh, I didn't clean it up very well. That's why I'm getting that. Uh, like circle around it. I didn't clean it up too well when I uh, carried it over. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fix that, so just uh, hang tight for a second. Okay, and I'm back. So I went ahead and cleaned that up a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and take my main animation and right here, say, I'm going to split that, copy, paste, just kind of make it a little bit longer here. So this way the text has some space to grow here or to show. So, all right, so I'm going to take the, the, the better cut. I think it's better cut. Yeah, it looks better. So again, I'm going to take the text, and that does have to be green screened. So I'm going to go ahead and green screen it. Click OK. So there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. It's layer one, layer two, and layer three. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a video. Call it. Um, start with A. This way, I know it's the finalized one. Rise some blue. Okay. Go ahead and clear my. 
tracks and I'm going to bring in Radisson Blue finalized my final logo here for Radisson Blue Hotel. Just gonna play it through, it looks pretty good. And what I'm gonna do is back here, I'm just gonna make it a little bit longer. And that's because I'm gonna add a finalized transition. Uh, what's a good one? Actually, I like cross zoom. Okay. So you can leave it at that, but I like to uh, bring it in one more time, bring all the layers together, merge them all, and then um, it just makes it easier to add some um, finalized transition to blur it out completely. So, go ahead and export this one more time. Okay. So, uh, how do you use this? Just like an element, basically. So, I'm go back to my media. Um, so, here's a pretty short clip. It's only about four seconds long. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just make that longer. Okay. So here's your, your standard track, your, your um, video or whatnot. And you're going to take, oops, you're going to take the um, animation that you just made. Basically, it's a movie. You're going to put it down here in the bottom track. Oh, it's really long. So let's just slow this down, make it a little bit longer. And again, as you can see, because it's in the bottom track, it's going to block out everything else. So what you want to do, green screen, make the black transparent. So this way is basically like a transparent part on top of it. So let's go ahead and play that. As you notice, it kind of hung up there. I've seen that before in my other ones. I'm not sure why it just does that. A little weird, but I'm not sure how to. So I think one thing you can do is once it does that, snip it, end it there. little weird again for more at the end of clips it kind of just leaves it off or hangs up or makes a still shot um, easiest way to deal with that is just give yourself plenty of room always that's why you know it's a pretty long clip um, this way you can always kind of just cut it off at the end so it gets half the animation uh, you can go back in and try to do it again lengthen the transition I think that's a way a good way to help is to take that transition and lengthen it and that's just by you know so let's say I move it here I click on it I just lengthen it out that's usually a, um, this way it gives you some space here if it hangs up like that so that's how to make uh, basically a custom text or credit um, or element really in Filmora by taking a still image cutting it up in a couple pieces and then animating each piece putting it together um, the trick is really using that green screen feature um, and also using tr uh, images that have transparency like this one. So that was basically transparent, but that's an image. Uh, you have to use green screen when it's not. Uh, so if you have, uh, let me know if you have any uh, questions or if you'd like to see any other tricks done in Filmora, leave them in the comments below. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.